Hi, my name is Anna Obergon and I am from the group Add It All Up and I am focusing on the constructivist approach. The constructivist theory supports the fact that critically thinking, using visuals, and really being able to be actively involved in the process of learning is the best way to understand new information you are being presented with. Teaching in general should always be accompanied by some type of visuals in order for a student to try and think for themselves. The first grade level constructivist activity I will be focusing on in regards to simple addition will involve visuals such as the students themselves along with different colored blocks. Other materials needed for this activity would be a pencil and a worksheet that would be provided by the teacher. During this activity, the teacher should first explain what addition is, which is just combining two or more numbers and making it one number. In this activity, the teacher is not going to explain much further, which supports a constructivist point of view of solely prompting a student. The teacher will then proceed with an explanation of simple addition by making a human example out of the students. For instance, if the teacher calls eight students up to the front, she will then split the group into two different sets, let's say four and four, and make each set of four hold hands. The next step would be the teacher prompting the students by asking them to count the amount of students in each set separately out loud, writing the number on the board behind the set of students in order to provide another type of written visual. She will then ask all the students from both sets to hold hands and ask the students sitting down to count out loud once more, finding the total and thus the first explanation of simple addition. Because constructivists believe in doing things in groups, having discussions, and trying to learn by being hands-on, the teacher will then proceed to hand out worksheets and ask the students to pair up in twos. The teacher will hand the set of blocks out to each pair of students and ask them to try and figure out the simple addition problems on the worksheet using the blocks as an aid, exactly how they just saw the students were being used in the front of the class. Blocks are a perfect item for a first grader because they are colored and can be stackable or separated into a straight line. For the students to use this as a visual and to be able to count. The whole point of the activity is to allow discussion and have the students throw out their ideas. So the teacher needs to be open to not correcting them right away, but leading them to think another way in order to get the right answer, which supports the constructivist theory. The student's evaluation would be grading the worksheet with addition problems in order to see if they really understood. The teacher can grade the worksheet whenever the pair of students is finished and whoever gets all the questions right may have free time at their desk. Options of free time could be reading a book, playing with an iPad silently, or coloring. If a pair of students gets questions wrong, they must go back and discuss what they did in order to try and fix the problem. Allow a time limit for the worksheet, but do not mention it to the students so they do not feel rushed.